All right, so in this video, we are going to see how we can protect routes using middlewares. At the moment, we are logged out, yet we are still able to go to the dashboard. So we don't want to allow this. We want to protect certain routes from certain users. So there are multiple ways to do that. Let's go to our web.php where our routes are sitting. The easiest way is to chain a middleware function to the route you want to protect. For example, we are trying to protect this dashboard, right? Before the name function, if I chain the middleware function, I can pass the name of the middleware that I want to use on this one. And we have built-in middlewares like API auth, guest, and so on. So guest and auth are the ones that we want to use, and we are familiar with that. We want to make sure that only authenticated users are able to go to forward slash dashboard. So by providing this middleware, a guest user should not be able to go to this page. Let's try to do that now. And if we go to dashboard, we are automatically redirected to the login. And if we do log in, this is where that intended function comes in. So in our auth controller, in the login function, we had this intended function, right? So this will make sure when we log in, we are back to the dashboard because that's the page we intended to visit, but we were not logged in. So this is one way to apply a middleware. We can do the same thing for any route. So if we want to protect these routes from authenticated user, we could just chain the guest middleware to this one. So right now I am logged in. If I try to go to register, I am back to my dashboard because I'm logged in. So these are the default behaviors of these middlewares. I actually don't want this, so I'm going to delete these two and show you another way you can apply. So the other way you can apply a middleware is to apply it inside the controller. If we go to Laravel documentation under controller middlewares, we can see how we can do that. First, I suggest you can use the middleware on your route. We've already tried that one. Here we can see how to implement that. So first we need to make sure that our controller implements the has middleware. So let's do that. So we want to implement the has middleware class and we need to make sure it is imported. When we do that, we get this red line because this has middleware is an interface and we need to implement this middleware function. So let's just copy this paste it here and see what we have. We have a static method and it's called middleware and the return type of it is an array. So we are returning an array. In that array, we can apply our middlewares or even conditional middlewares. And I will show you how you can apply middlewares to certain functions when we get to our post resource controller. For now, let's just stick with the basics. So again, this is our dashboard controller. So we want to make sure that authenticated users are able to visit this. And I'm going to get rid of these because we don't have anything except this index function. So let's go back to our website. Let's log out and let's try to go to dashboard. Again, we are back to log in because of this middleware. So if you have just one middleware, which is very simple like this, it's better to apply it to the routes. But if it is complicated and it needs to have some functionality to it, it's better to use it in the controller. So I'm going to get rid of this also get rid of this interface and back to a simple controller. Now, the way that I prefer to use it is to group the routes that need a certain middleware. So we have four routes here that need the guest middleware and these two that needs auth middleware. On the route class, we have a middleware function that takes the middlewares we want to apply. So if it is more than one, we can pass an array here and say, for example, auth and API. But if it's just one, we can pass as a string. So I want to apply the guest middleware here and we want to group these routes. So we can chain a group method here that would take a callback function. So we can create a function here and let's just wrap these four routes with this guest middleware. So now I don't have to apply to the individual routes. And even if I have more routes, I can just add it inside of this group. And we want to do the same thing for these two routes. So again, let's say route middleware. This time we want to apply auth and let's use the group function and add our callback function at the semicolon and then wrap these two routes. All right, so we have our guest group and auth group. Let's test this out. So we can go to the homepage, which is accessible to anyone, and we are not logged in, which means we cannot go to the dashboard. Okay, that works. We are back to log in. Let's log in with this mic user this time. Three, two, one, and log in. We are back to dashboard. So now if I try to go back to log in, doesn't work. If I go to register, again, back to dashboard. And that is how we can apply middlewares to our routes.
All right, so we are done with our authentication system and I want to thank you all for staying with me up to this point. Now, the next step is actually digging deeper into Laravel framework by creating our own model and learn about migrations and seeders and factories and resource controllers and policies and pagination and some other features of Laravel. So let's do that next.